Now that we have the actual stray amount as a mask using our percentage expression, it's time to control the magnitude the same way. We're going to use the exact same expression that Michael Todd shared here on this post, but if you copy paste from there, it's not going to work that well. So I'm going to put it on the actual page for you to use it. It's like this. It has, it defines a mean, a mean of between zero and 0 0.2, a max between 0 0.2 and 10. So you have a mean value. The max value starts at the end of the mean value, a value of 10. A seed, that the seed is going to be just to change everything. A magnitude, that it's going to be a random value between the mean, the max, and the seed. So the seed is going to change the values. After that, it defines a stray minimum, that is going to be a value between 0 and 5. A stray max, that is going to be between 1 and 20. And it defines that the stray noise, it's the random value between a stray mean, a stray, sorry, between a stray mean, a stray max, and 8. So noise but is going to be a stray, the amount of strays that we have there. Remember the expression of strays. And it's defining that the straight is going to be a stray noise. So this thing here. And the magnitude, that it's the magnitude that we have C here, that is defined by the seeds. And after that, we have fit max, that it's going to define the maximum values. And we have a fit noise, all the values and fit max. So this is going to define everything and it's going to fit everything into the same package. So we hit apply and we're going to see all the sliders that we have there here. So we are going to start working on for this one from here. If I go for a mean value of zero, we're going to see that some deformations are going to disappear. And if I go to a max value of zero also, we are going to see that just only of some of them are going to stay there. The seed is going to change. Remember that the max value lower part is going to be 0.2. That's why we still have some effect. Uh, the stray mean that is going to be affected. And the stray max that is going to be affected. So we can change. Remember that this is the scale. And the fit max and fit mean. So if I want the max scale to be 10, you can see how everything breaks. So maybe five, it's too much. So stream in, you can change the amount of strays that are going to be affected. So maybe a value of two wasn't that bad. So let's change to value of two. It's okay. You can control the seat here. So it's going to change everything. If you see that it's too much strays, you can bring the masks down. So you're going to have some of them. And the stray mean, it's going to be one or 0.1. So the stray mean magnitude is going to be 0.1 and the stray max magnitude is going to be four. So you can see now that some of them are moving quite a bit. You can see on the tips, where we have the magnitude scale ramp here, it's going to be affecting a lot more. Let me change to see all the primitive in view. So the width ramp, it's like this at the moment. Sorry, I went to the other one. And I want an effect that it's more natural. So something like that. So we can actually see the effect. And I don't want to be that off on the tips. So I can control a little bit more around the tips, much better. So you can see the effect here. Now I can change the fit. And you can see how everything is starting to reduce, even with the changes there. If I take the seat, the fit less, the value is going to change and it's going to fit into the value that I put here. So the mask is going to change everything and the amount of errors that I'm affecting and the fit, it's going to change this. And you can affect the amount of strays, the seed if you want a different pattern, and the min and max scales that you're affecting. So that's how you use this expression. It's one of the best expressions that you can use because it has a lot of control and you can set 
different types of noises and different frequency of noises even on the same file. And if you want more control, you can create a second one just to control the other type of strays. Now, on the next lesson, we are going to work with flyaways. Thank you and see you on the next one.